This cannot be. Nanamo. Nanamo. No! Plainly, the Royalists can no longer be relied upon to keep our nation safe. And so it falls to the monetarists of the Syndicate to govern Uldar. But should you wish to help us, General, we would be more than happy to entrust the task of planning Her Grace's funeral to you. It seems only right that you should bury your precious Sultana, and we will be glad to be rid of that burden. I'll bet you will. You more than any man. Whatever do you mean? I mean you had her killed, you black-hearted bastard! <laughs> what rot! <laughs> Though I did have sufficient motive, it is true. That young lady caused me no end of grief. She always was a most unwilling puppet. I dare say her grace was grateful that someone thought to cut her strings. You would mock her, then mock her from hell! What? Have you lost your mind, General? It is forbidden to draw steel in the royal chambers, much less slaughter our fellow Syndicate members. <gasps> You're one of them! You've been in league with the Scions all along! You! You're next to scheming bastard! We must leave. Ah. How unlike you, old friend. I did not expect to take your arm so easily. Take the Scions into custody. They have conspired to commit regicide. And arrest this traitor as well. Ilbert, I hope you choke on their coin. It's better than the dirt I've supped on these long years. We can't all abandon Alamigo and become great war heroes as you have. You are not the man you once were, Raban. Since that girl strapped the yoke around your neck, you've become docile. She took the mad bull and cut off his balls. And a bull that cannot rot is fit for naught but slaughter. Shall I tell you who really killed your precious Sultana? It 
was me. You... You die! I never doubted you, not for a moment. But there is more to this than I yet understand. Flee this place. Clear your names. Find out who is behind this plot. It is the only way. Now go! You are. Sancred! Where have you been? Avoiding the fumbling advances of some very persistent admirers. But when I realized the celebrations had turned sour, it seemed prudent to slip away and take stock of the situation. Twould appear that much of the city is already under tight guard. It occurs to me that expanding the Brass Blade's authority may not have been such a wonderful idea after all. The success of this plan was contingent upon those thugs having the run of the place. Just how long has this scheme been in motion? The careful preparations, the maneuvering of forces. I am inclined to agree with the General's insistence that a deeper plot exists here. So, would I be right in thinking we now have an excuse to pummel as many brass blades as we like? Unless you plan on pummeling them all, I'm not sure that will greatly aid our cause. The Sultana's assassination was but one part of the scheme. We too were its targets. And though we did not share Pornonimo's fate, we are yet hobbled by the charges laid at our door. Where now might we seek refuge? Where indeed, we may safely assume that our foe is thought to have the Rising Stones watched. Forgive me for stating the obvious, but our choice of destination will matter little if we cannot secure an escape route out of Ulda. Happily, I believe I can provide one. Papashan once told me about the passages hidden in the walls of the palace. If I recall correctly, the fireplace in Anima's chambers conceals the entrance to a tunnel. It should lead outside the city and allow us to avoid any messy confrontations. If you go on ahead, I'll handle this lot. By yourself? Oh, I suppose I shall just have to join you. Crystal Braves too, huh? Now this should be interesting. Ida! Papalimo! We will hold our pursuers here. Hurry, now! Find this tunnel of Thancreds! Minfilia, we cannot linger!
Ah, look what you've done! Ida, are you all right? There are just too many of them. I'm fine. I could do this all day. How about you? Nearing the end of my tether. We're the Scions of the Seventh Dawn, the ones who stand between this realm and the evil that's trying to destroy it. And if you think we'll leave the stewardship of Eorzea to the likes of your masters, then you're solely mistaken. Sorry I dragged you into this, Popolimo. <laughs> Tis hardly the first time, and I'll be damned if it will be the last. I was hoping you'd say that. I never knew such a watercourse existed beneath Uldar. The architecture is of the Sildine style, if I'm not mistaken. The ancients plainly foresaw the need for a ready means of escape. didn't take long. It seems these tunnels were not as secret as I had hoped. You two, go on ahead. Thancord and I will deal with this. What? What do you mean to do? Only that which is required to ensure that the dawn's light survive to brighten the morrow. Fear not, antecedent. You haven't seen the last of these fair features. My friends! Leave us! What is the plan, milady? Shall I take the dozen on the left and you the dozen on the right? The odds are not exactly stacked in our favor. Numbers will count for little when I bring the tunnel down upon their heads. Though I cannot say I relish the thought of being entombed with you for all eternity. You wound me. I will have you know that many a maid would kill for the chance to spend forever at my side. Now, may I have the last dance?
Well, this is going splendidly. Now would be a good time, milady! It is done. I must remain behind, but you cannot stay with me. Please, you must go on. You are the warrior of light. You are hope for the Scions and for all the realm. As long as your flame continues to burn, the light of the dawn may ever be relit. You must escape and save Eorzea from those who would plunge it into darkness. Tis the only way. I am glad to see you safe, my friend. What of the others? Damn that man! Teleji played me for a fool! I thought the Crystal Brave's mine till the very moment I felt the blade at my back. There will be ample time for soul searching later. For now, we must put some moms between us and Uldar. Would you look who it is? Need a ride? I doubt it'll be half as exciting as the last trip we took. Not if I have anything to say about it anyway. Let's not dawdle, eh? All aboard! Supplies over in Vesper Bay, you see, when your sister come up and begged a favor. Said her brother was having some trouble down in Uldar and likely needed a helping hand getting away. But thinking them ruins would make a fine hiding place, I decided to try there first. And lo and behold, there you were. 
Aye, and judging by them soldiers as were pouring out of the city, I arrived not a moment too soon. Ha! <laughs> Must have been fate that we happened to find you there, though, eh? I had thought to look out for Alize, but would appear she was the one watching over me. I've made such a mess of things. And who might you be, young sir? Pippin Taropin, Vice Marshal of the Immortal Flames. I had been on the Alamegan front these past few moons, but an urgent communication called me back to Uldar. Scarce had my boots touched the cobbles, though, when the streets erupted with cries of assassination. I immediately went in search of answers, and came across Master Alfino here. Needless to say, I did not think his imprisonment justified. The blame plainly lies with the Monetarists. Their greed and corruption are well known to me, but for them to take advantage of the situation with such alacrity... Was that Pippin, you said? Ain't that the name of General Aldin's lad? Yes, I am his son. Adopted, of course. It was only as we were leaving Uldar that I learned of father's fate. Once I have seen you a safe distance away, I mean to return to the city and extricate him from this madness. Then you needn't travel no further than Blackbrush. Our fugitives have a friend waiting for them there. I dreamed of bringing about Eorzea's salvation. But in the end... ...'twas I who needed saving. Them soldiers will keep searching for a while yet. Reckon we'll be reckon we'll take the carriage back to Jolda and get the lay of the land. Maybe provide a distraction if need be. You three wait here. Death will be along shortly. Stay strong, friends. Real fights to come. Alright, let's go. Up, up. No rest for the righteous. We should make for Camp Dragonhead and speak with Lord Hoshafal. Mayhap, mayhap he will know what to do. There has been word from the capital. Ishgard has weathered another assault. 
and tis said several wyverns broke through into the city proper. The Temple Knights succeeded in slaying the beasts, but the intrusion prompted orders to further strengthen the guard, and to place the city under a perpetual state of alert. How keenly we feel the loss of our wards at the Gates of Judgment. Yet we must not bemoan our misfortune. Sir Emmerich is safely returned from Uldar, and once more leads the defense of Ishgard. As for the matter of your asylum, I am afraid no progress will be made until the threat to our nation is diminished. But do not despair. You are not without allies. You are more than welcome to shelter here for as long as you wish. Pray, think of it as a new headquarters of sorts. The falling snows, or some such. All frivolity aside, any who come here in search of you will receive no aid from House Fortom. For once, the Ishgardian reputation for inhospitality shall work in our favor. Agents of Uldar will find their every inquiry dismissed and their every request for entry rebuffed until such time as their masters have acknowledged your innocence. You once fought to preserve the honor of my dear friend. Tis a blessing that I may now repay that debt in kind. But let us dwell no more on this. Pray, join the rest of your companions. Tis bitterly cold this day. I suspect there are those who might welcome the warmth your presence brings. Wolfbidow, Fen, is it really you? I, I am so happy that, that you are. <laughs> I tried contacting Minfilia and the others, but no one would respond. And then the Crystal Braves, our own people, turned on us in the marketplace. The Haman told me to run, and so I did, and I ran, and I ran until my legs burned, my lungs burned, and my feet ached, but I lost my way, and then... Fortunately, I had, I had observed some of the Braves behaving suspiciously before. Hmm? Ah, uh, yes, my mask. It was lost in the struggle. Pretty, isn't she? Anyway, after Yugiri found me and we traveled to Vespa Bay and met up with, with Uriange, we told him... When we told him what had happened, he used his magics to weave a glamour around the waking sands. From the outside, our old headquarters now looks like an abandoned storehouse. The transformation didn't take long, either. Apparently, Uriange started making preparations after the Imperial attack, just in case the Emperor, the Empire, ever wanted to pay us another visit. Good thinking, eh? Sorry, where was I? Oh, yes. So we waited there in the Waking Sands, hoping others would come. But no one else did. My people are searching for the, for the other Scions as we speak. But we have but we have met with no success as of yet. I had hoped that you might be able to suggest for the places to look. Ah, uh, but you should know. The rising stones did not share the Waking Sands good fortune. Only crystal braves await you there. Be it as it may, we may yet have cause to hope, do we not? If the two of you escaped, it is not impossible that the others could have done so as well. You may not have you may not have been forsaken by men and women truly believed, but rest assured that the people of Doma still stand with you, yet stand with you. We welcome this opportunity to repay our debts and shall continue our efforts to locate the others and see the scions restored to their rightful place of honor.
Tis all my doing. I believed myself the only one who truly understood Eorzea's woes. And look what that arrogance has wrought. I gave commands, influenced governments with my certainty. I treated the Crystal Braves and even the Scions themselves as pawns in my great scheme to save the realm. But in my headlong rush into imagined glory, I paid no heed to the ground upon which I trod. The salvation of Eorzea. What was it that I hoped to achieve? Did I believe that I could rid the realm of every danger and difficulty? That I could defeat the Empire and the Asians, and find homes for every refugee? Oh yes, I was so very clever. Become a guardian of Eorzea, I implored, and sat back to watch my perfect army cleanse the land of chaos, which was all but a means to feed my own vanity. Only when all is lost do I finally realize the truth. Oh, Alfino. So, Master Alfino, are you content to remain a broken blade? Is there no flame hot enough to reforge you? What of the fine companions who yet stand at your side? I dare say the fires of their determination will soon have you slicing the air again with your customary wit. I hardly deserve such friendship. And besides, where are we to go? not serve our purpose, then... then we shall go to Ishgard. Minfilia told me many times, as long as we stand fast against despair, the beacon of hope will never be lost to sight. Be it in the snow or in the clouds, we few will see that the dawn's light shines again. <laughs> You are right, Totoru. Thank you. And thank you for your kind words, Lord Orshfong. Tis true that Eorzea yet has her guardians. The Scions have achieved much, and would be remiss of me to discard it all in a fit of self-pity. Let us then resume our journey, together, one step at a time. All has been arranged as you desired, my lord. Nabrialis is no more. The order was not his to invoke. His, divide, his demise was of his own making. 
Nevertheless, it concerns me. They have ex they have extinguished that which should rightly be eternal. Mayhap he was not wholly mistaken. Greater haste may be warranted. We are of one mind. The northern lands then. The earth is fertile. The seeds well sown. And by, by my will shall they shall reap salvation unlike any the world has known. By his will. By his will. I have answered thy summon, uh, thy summons, emissary. Speak and make thy in intent known. I would speak of fate, Arkan. Yours, mine, the fate of this very star. Sanctuary lieth beyond delusion, despair, death. Thou shalt find naught else here. To preserve the dawn's light, the heroes journeyed north. Their hearts filled with hope, their eyes fixed, heaven sward. <laughs> 